Welcome back to the AP Scale Project. I'm Krager, and this is Off Bravo, and today we're going to try to make it through most of the remaining characters from the IDW 2005 continuity. First, we'll start off with a couple characters who were in <laughs> continuity mistakes that became new characters. Like, Blaster appeared where he shouldn't be, so he became Bluster. And of course, from our Blaster experience, we know that the Legacy slash Kingdom version is our best blaster. So for bluster, get the Legacy Kingdom blaster. The other one is Fastback. Now Fastback, you know, they wanted to have more impact in the cup spotlight, so they changed an Outback appearance to Fastback and recolored them red. So the best you're going to be able to do right now is the Titan Returns Outback and repaint it red for Fastback. All right, let's go to the next one. For the next group is characters that have one figure that I actually own. So, we've got Off-Road here, of course, the only one is the Combiner Wars. For the Protoform Sideswipe, yes, he did have uh, a couple of the ones that the Sideswipe had, but through our Sideswipe experience, we know that the Siege slash Kingdom or, or is the best, so the best one is the Siege. And then for Minimus Ambus, you only got the Combiner Wars toy, so that's the best one. All right, let's go to the next one. This next set are, I have the mold, but not the right color. <laughs> so, Demolisher, obviously use the Armada Demolisher in the comics, but you should, I've got the Cybertron here, the same model, you just really want the Armada version if you want to have the correct color. For Clocker, I've got the Cybertron here, but you want the movie recolor to have the correct coloration for the IDW 2005. And then, this is Overcast, but Energon Jetfire made an appearance in, <laughs> in the IDW comics. So, I've got Overcast. The uh, Jetfire looks like it with different colors. So, and speaking of Jetfire, the animated Jetfire showed up at 1.2. So, you can get the animated to cover him. Now, Grindcore had two relevant molds, the movie and the PCC, which Skyhammer is standing in for. Now, the PCC is actually the one that's closer to appearance, but I think the movie stands better. Now, Sledge had a PCC version and an Energon version from the uh, Devastator Maximus set. And actually, the Energon is probably the closest to IDW appearance. Other ones that uh, had uh, PCCs as their only choice were Undertow and Smolder. For the remaining characters in IDW 2005, in no particular order, Fireball, you'll have to use the Vroom in a robot. For Scrounge, you'll have to use Combiner Wars that you had to buy the Combiner Wars Computron set to get. If you wanted the more accurate Unite Warriors Computron, you missed out on Scrounge. I'd rather have the better Computron, so that's the route I went. So I don't have a Scrounge. For Ferric, you had to use the Botcon recolor of Universe Cyclonus. For Hailstorm, you had to use the Movie Hailstorm. For Heavy Load, the Decepticon version, use the Universe. For Steam Hammer, use the Energon. For Sovereign, use Alpha Trion's head from Titan's Return. <laughs> for Tailpipe, use the movie version. And the last three characters I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover don't have official toys, but you can get a version of Octus from Sh uh, not Shapeways Thingiverse from Elinzi, who made a transforming Dalek, which I haven't tried yet, but it's on my things to do. And then for Anode and Lug, for Anode, Steam Shield has a conversion kit for Red Windblade on Shapeways. And for Lug, Prize Inside has a head that you can swap out for TR Rewind for a repaint. And that's almost all the characters for IDW 2005 continuity. There's one left, but he's going to get his own show. So, thanks for joining us today on the AB Scout Project. If there's a character you'd like to see, put your request in the comments below. Although, there's only one left in Tidy W 2005. 
<laughs> Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, ring that bell, and I'll see y'all later. <laughs> <laughs>